Am I the A for ruining my sister's wedding? I, 24 female, was with my ex fiance Neil, 27, since I was 13 and he was 15. He was my first love, my first everything. We got engaged when I was 20, and about six months after, we found that we were expecting. Unfortunately, I miscarried a couple of days later. That was the worst moment of our lives. We always dreamed about starting a family early, so this was a major blow to us individually and to our relationship. I fell into deep depression, and I admit I was wrong for only caring for the loss I felt, and not for my partners. We argued a lot. He partially blamed me, and I accused him of not knowing how it felt to lose a life you were growing inside of you. We were hurting each other and decided to separate for a while. That while turned into a year. We still kept in contact. I went to therapy and worked on healing myself. He even came to a few sessions with me. We decided to get back together shortly after my 23rd birthday. However, the relationship wasn't the same. He was somewhat withdrawn from me, and I thought it was because he was still blaming me. I was sick, overthinking, and worrying. It got to the point where I was going backwards in my process, so I decided to snoop through his phone. I found out during the year we separated, he had been confiding in my sister, 27, and it turned to something intimate. He cut it off when we got back together, but the damage was done. She was pregnant. Turns out my parents knew about this and some of our friends. I kicked him out and cut off everyone who knew. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I got an invite to the wedding. Something snapped inside of me. I got drunk and took a cab to my parents' house where they were throwing a party for them. Most of my family was there. I basically showed up and gave a whole F.U. speech to everybody. My sister ran upstairs in tears, and my parents called me an aho for ruining the prospect of their wedding. I said good, because nobody apologized to me. Everybody just kept saying, we were separated. Things happen. People fall in love. I should be happy for them. The heart wants what it wants. The worst part is my sister told me maybe my baby died for a reason so she could get her happy ending. I'm regretting getting drunk now because I'm not a confrontation person. But I was so upset. Am I the A? Update. Hi, everybody. Thanks for all the support and the encouraging words so far. I know this update is coming so soon, but I'd like to tell you guys a joke. My sister called from an unknown number a couple of minutes after I posted this. Lol. I'm blocking everyone. She asked, well, more demanded, that I return the ring fiancé bought, since it would be disrespectful to keep anything from him knowing they're starting a family. She said how immature of me for basically not sucking it up and being happy for her. She even intended to make me her maid of honor. I apologized to her for ruining her party and told her I'd be mailing the ring, but as for me and her, we're done. And to tell my parents the same. I'm here bawling my eyes out, waiting on my therapist to finish with another patient so I don't turn to a bottle again and go off again. Now for the comments. I started dating my ex when I was 15 and we broke up when I was 23. If he ended up dating my sister, knocking her up, and then marrying her, I would lose my crap. While barging into a party, screaming at them wasn't the healthiest decision you can make. Personally, I say F them. They clearly don't care about you and if you got some relief from doing what you did, I say congratulations, not the A. I did get some relief in the moment, but now I'm just so drained. Holy crap, not the A. My sister told me maybe my baby died for a reason so she could get her happy ending. Who the F says that to anyone, let alone their sister? You had a miscarriage, which is heartbreaking enough, and then your sister swoops in 
and steals your partner and has the audacity to say something like that. I'm angry for you right now. I am so sorry that you've had to go through this BS. Also, do not send the ring back. Sell it and use the money to help you pay for your therapy. It is the least they can do. I plan to post the same thing. Therapy or some other form of self-care and healing work. I'm so sorry, not just for the betrayal and the miscarriage, but for the gaslighting as well. You don't deserve this, not the A. I've never suffered a miscarriage, so I cannot speak to that pain. But I have been in that place where I felt so broken by family betrayal that I didn't know how I could even be whole again. I'm here to tell you that with time and therapy, it does get better. In my case, along the way, I saw that my family had been dysfunctional to toxic all along, and I barely noticed. Whether or not that turns out to be true for you, you will be better off without people who don't support you. This internet stranger is here to tell you that one day you'll wake up and go the whole day without thinking about your family. It's a long process, and it's not remotely linear. You'll feel great, and then a memory will pop up on Facebook, which ruins your whole day. But then one day, a memory will pop up, and you'll just go on with your day. Prioritize yourself right now. Set the boundaries you need to. Cut out the people you need to and lean on those who have demonstrated they can be relied upon. Get therapy ASAP. If you don't click with your first therapist, get another. Sometimes one therapist can only help you so much, and it's time to move on. No shame there. Wishing you the best. This is a tough road, but you can walk it. Karma has a way of working things out. Your sister will never be truly happy with him, I bet. She'll be looking over her shoulder because she'll be afraid that he'll cheat on her like he did with you. ETA. OP, just read your update. See, it's starting already for your sister, not the ex-fiance. To demand the ring back says a lot. She already does not have peace of mind. Oh, and she wants you to be the maid of honor? Huh. She probably just wants to keep her beady little snake eyes on you. Don't give the ring back, at least not if your sister is the one demanding it. If you wind up having a conversation with the ex and he wants it back, that's a whole other thing. Your sister has no claim on that ring, and she just keeps adding to her a hollery. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.